Hi, I built a small, simple, brushless electric motor. Here's how I did it, and you can too. First, I found the smallest bearings I had on hand, which gave me a diameter to work off of. Next, I spent some time looking for something that would act as the electromagnet cores. I had some motor cores laying about, but that's cheating. This screw, however, lacks enthusiasm. And while this rivet mandrel is more enthusiastic, it remains a bit too attached to its previous relationship. Eventually though, I found some M3 screws that had okay magnetic characteristics. Unfortunately, that screw head is a bit chunky, so I had to file it down. After which, I encouraged some heat shrink to give the screw a hug as consolation. I determined that 15 is the optimal number of electromagnets to minimize wasted space. And having decided that I could design the part that would form the stator of the motor. I printed it out of PETG because it doesn't give up as easily as PLA when things get a bit heated. I then forced the bearings and electromagnet cores to get very intimate indeed with the stator. After which, it was time to wire things up. Having wound the same number of turns in the same direction on every third electromagnet, I had formed a single phase. After finishing the other two phases, I did some tests. Surprisingly, everything was fine. So I acquainted the phases by soldering one end of all the phases together, forming a Y configuration. I also took the time to solder on some bananas for later intimacy with an electronic speed controller. Now the stator is finished. So next I designed the rotor to house the 20 neodymium permanent magnets that this motor demands. I had to alternate the magnetic polarity with each subsequent magnet, but of course I messed it up. So I acquired some more magnets and tried again. Successfully this time. Next, the shaft needed some working. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more shaft work. Finally, I only needed to print out the base for the motor. And then assemble the motor. And here we are. A radial flux, 15 slot, 20 pole, Y configuration, outrunner, brushless direct current motor. Looks great. Does it work though? Well, it works. But that's what we call wobbly. So I worked the shaft some more and gave it a nut. The wobble is now less. So then I decided to give the motor vertigo, look at an LCD screen and count some frames. The result? was some numbers. I then weighed the motor for some more numbers. Next, more numbers. But oh no, these numbers suggest that this motor is ready to commit Sudoku at any moment. What it needs is to just chill and idle at low current. 
So, naturally, I decided to put a propeller on it and apply maximum thrust. That is a pretty awesome sound. More numbers. But, oh no! The power supply is a weakling, holding back the full potential of the motor. To fix this for the future, your subscription and like on the video are needed. Doing these actions will increase the motivation to finally buy a battery. I then had a little bit more fun with different propellers. Which also made me find some more limits to the motor. But in the end, I think I succeeded. This is how I built a small, simple, brushless electric motor. And you can too, by following the printables page link in the description for a list of parts, SDL files and assembly instructions. That is all. Thank you for watching. The video is done. Uh, you can go. Okay, here's the motor committing Sudoku then.